Hello, you seven. I am Mrs. Gleason. I'm going to take you through your work that you'll be doing in Miss Punch's, Miss Adams, and my classroom. On your classroom, you'll see that there is a PowerPoint loaded up, and that's going to have your work for the next four weeks. So let me take you around this PowerPoint a little bit, and you can see sort of what is going to be happening. Um, you will see that in this PowerPoint, the first thing you'll come across is this key here. Now on this key, it will show you, um, the first one says task, so that means you've got something to do. The second one says look at me, and that means you'll probably be looking at something on the internet. And the third one says create, and that means you'll be doing something. And this last one means research. We're not going to do lots of research, but a little bit along the way. As you come to each week, there'll be a little weekly prep, and then there will be a task to do. Okay, so we'll try and um, do a couple of few fun things along the way. Week two, I'm going to spend a little bit of time in week two and three because this would have been your old assessment and now it is a formative task, but it is part of your report. So we're going to look at different temples, gods, and religious practices for ancient Egypt. So when you come on here, you can move your cursor in there and this will open this document here. Now you have to fill this in. The way you do it is you open up this link here. It will take you to this site and that has all, it's got lots of the temples that you will find on here. You'll have to name them. Okay. Once you do that, you'll find a little bit of information on the temples. You will then have to place these temples on this map. It's a bit of a fun activity. So you can see where they're spread out all over Egypt and along the Nile. Okay, then you will move on to the next part of the assessment. And again, you use the link here and click on that. The links will also be posted onto your classroom if you're having troubles with them. Okay. So this is again another Google form to fill in. And there are two different um, uh, websites to open up. I only use these. Don't worry about doing any extra research. We've just limited the amount of research you do. You just use the, the, the um, website we've given you. Now, this is um, on the box, and you'll find that there are primary sources of the gods and a little bit of information on them. And this one here is about the festivals of ancient Egypt. Um, that's not a primary source, but they are primary sources for when they can find primary sources. Use that to fill in the little bits of information that you've got to do. When you've done that, then you are going to have make a travel brochure over here. Okay. So what we want for your temples is for you to prove your temples and give a little bit of example uh, about what it looks like and what you've learned about these things. There is a sample over here. Now, it's not a sample from the studio, this is a sample from an actual Egyptian travel brochure. And it just shows you what a travel brochure looks like. It's got a front page, it's got a back page, and it's usually folded into three. So you can make it a little bit dynamic and lots and lots of pictures and make it a lot of fun. Okay, and then we finish up Egypt. Um, a bit of a fun task. So you're going to learn uh, Egyptian communication and make your own papyrus down here. Okay, once we finish Egypt, then ancient China will be loaded up. Okay, so China's going to follow the same sort of um, pattern as Egypt did. So we'll have a key. And you've got a panda for your task and a terracotta warrior for your YouTube watching. And then it will just go through and you get, get a series of weekly activities. At the end of China, you get to watch either Milan or play a historical game on the internet with 
try to make it as fun and interactive as we can so that you can get a variety of tasks to do. A lot of hands-on tasks that you're not watching the kids do at the time. Um, always ask questions, put lots and lots of feedback on the classrooms and we'll talk you through each weekly activity. Have fun, I'll see you in a Zoom meeting.